Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop for another action pack, drama free, 10 minutes, bum building action, 10 minutes at a time, <laughs> alright people, now this is my pill ply, alright, this is a, like a nylon Stuff that resin will not stick to, okay? It's called pill ply. And if you just need a small amount of it, you can go to where you take your wife and your mother to buy their material for sewing <laughs> and get this stuff. It's called a rip stop. And believe it or not, that's what this is right here because I ran out when I was doing my piece wash. And if you catch this stuff on sale, you know, then places have sales all the time. You can actually get it cheaper than ordering it. A lot of times when I bought this, it was uh, buy one, get one free. Buy one yard, get one free. And they, you know, when you first go in and see it, you say, wow, six bucks a yard. That's a running yard, people. This stuff's two yards wide. So that, that actually cuts it down to uh, $3 a yard. And then... Uh, you can get it on sale. And, and when you walk in the door, they always have coupons by the door. Alright? Just look for where all the, all the ladies are huddling. <laughs> you know, and, uh, and don't be afraid to ask a couple questions while you're in there. You know, it's kind of embarrassing, man, in there like that. But it ain't bad. That's the woman's candy store right there. <laughs> In fact, if there was an older guy that was wanting to meet a woman, I wouldn't go to a bar. I would go to uh, where they sell material. <laughs> That's where they're all hanging, man. But you can get it there if you just need a little bit. You know, you can just type in uh, pill ply on your search engine if you're looking for a larger amount. And that's what it's called, pill ply. Now there's different weights. I didn't like the, the lighter weight stuff. It wanted to uh, tear too easy when you was pulling it out, you know. But this is the heavy stuff. This is actually ripstop from Cloth World. And it works just fantastic. But it just makes a hundred percent difference in your in your finished part using this pill pot. Thing comes out nice and smooth, and you know you don't get clogs of resin, and it takes the wax finish because when this epoxy sets up, it actually puts a wax finish on the top, and uh, this with this peel ply it goes to the top side. So when you peel off your peel ply, man, glue sticks to it like nothing you ever seen. And you ain't got to do nothing to it. You don't even have to sand it. If you get some dry spots like that, put your little resin on there. Work it right in through, right through the peel plug. I put this in two pieces because where I got it from Cloth World, it had a, it's folded. I had to cut the fold out of it, but you can do that. You can cut it. You can do anything with it you want. 
You can slap it around, you can treat it bad, you can call it bad names. <laughs> And you just let this resin set up, and the peel plot just peels right off. You old timers know that you, you guys that just kind of tuned in haven't seen that. I'll uh, show it when he's set up. This afternoon, this evening. Whoopsie. Yeah, I'll probably peel it off when I trim it. So it'll probably be like later this afternoon. See, that'll look kind of dry, so put a little more resin on there. And there won't be no pinholes. So you can see where all your pinholes are going to be. Just put a little resin, more resin on there. And the pinholes won't be through the primer anyway. You know, that's all sealed. There will be no, I pop this out of the mold. There will be not a pinhole one. You just got to work it. Work it, baby, work it. Bam, that's all there is to that, people. You know, it's better just to kind of take your time and cruise on it, not get in no big hurry. And make sure you got all your edges good. See, so you want that resin to go up on that edge a little bit. And then when we trim this, do not let it set all the way up. If you just walked away from this and came back tomorrow morning, this piece would be scrap. You could not use it. So I'm going to make another video when it's exactly time to trim that. And we'll pull that peel ply off and we'll trim it. What do you think? What do you think? That's pretty, ain't it? That's pretty. Just every now and then look down here and make sure this peel ply is wanting to peel up. The glass is fine. But the peel ply is wanting to lift a little bit. We'll keep an eye on it. Just got to be careful where I put all that stuff. Because if you just go push and push it down real hard. Right here. If you just go push and push all that stuff out. Then you'll end up with a big old nasty bubble. That'll be a nasty one, man. Say, ouch. You wouldn't want to be putting that on above the ball show. <laughs> but I do. I showed you guys my bad stuff. Just like I show you the good. That's what this is all about. We don't have no secrets in the in the shop. Bob show ain't about that. Bob Bob shows about everything. Just this is the true model of the world right here. Right here in the shop. And you can do it too. That's pretty right there. That's pretty. You know what I mean, Burn? Oh, we all know what that means. I'm going to <coughs> take these gloves off. Let me a little break. While these movies are loading, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get this canopy. I'm going to do it the same way. Just that, that first layer is going to be that light stuff. Just so I don't have no pinholes, you know. I'll get that done. and uh, I'm going to show you how I put the bottom lip 
on that canopy because that's a hatch. I'm going to put a bottom lip 